Capricorn, hello there my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late February moving into early March 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Cappies out there. Hope you're all doing great, my friends. Let's get it going here, my guys. Talk to me. What's up with the Capricorns? We're in the early stages of Pisces season, and the energy is flowing, my friends. Yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot, just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you could lean in on, which I always find intriguing. But yeah, let's get it going here. Rock and see what we got for Capricorn, please. I was about to shuffle it again, but yeah, let's get this card out here. What's up with my friends, please? Nice and quick. There it goes. Okay, water sign energy showing up. This is very watery for a Capricorn reading. That's one thing. Now, this could point to a lot of things. There could be a lot of imagination, creativity. Spirit could even be focusing on, like, your rest and sleep. There's a lot of things that I always link with water signs here and see in their readings. But before we fully dive into that... If you're new here, I'll be speaking about the February subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo, into the reading. Let's talk a little bit more about this card. So, you see the imagery there. There's a woman or a lady there, and it looks like she's writing in a journal. It's very etheric and dreamy and sleepy. So that's why I did mention sleep in one form or another. Maybe you need to get a little more rest there, Capricorn. Slow down a little bit and rest and relax. For some of you, this could just be extremely imaginative. Maybe you're having like really intense, vivid dreams in this time. I always think that with this card. Or a spirit could be trying to speak to you or show you things through dream. Aside from all those sleep link things, once again, this is a very imaginative, creative type of energy as well. For some of you, you might be daydreaming a little more than you do normally. That's why I said this doesn't feel like the usual Capricorn energy that I know because um, it's like very daydreamy. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you are like imagining things more than normal. But another thing with this, it's very creative. It's extremely artistic. So maybe Spirit wants you to embrace that in this time, that little outlet or release so we're just going to put her down right over there let's get into tarot now and yeah i'm just going to get you three cards in the upright then we'll get into that intuitive juicy stuff i always say with the first card it doesn't make or break the reading now always remember that so what do we got for the cappies and while we get this deck all shuffled up and ready to go let's talk about last week's reading for you my friends it was a little rough and like for the past couple of weeks there's been a bit of a choppy energy around the Capricorn reading so I hope you haven't been going through too many things okay maybe laying low that's a good vibe the reading was titled a big problem okay so I would never wish that on anybody but there was this like little energy of resistance and problematic things arising so we're gonna hope for something a little more optimistic this week as you know energy is very fluid never set in stone so only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. So let's get it going here. Three cards for Capricorn. What's going on with my friends for late February, moving into early March? Okay, Ten of Pentacles, nice. Okay, so maybe we are turning the corner here with the energy. This is really, really lovely. I always get excited when I see this start off a reading. But we still have a lot more to go. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves just yet. It could be a lot of different things. What do we got for Capricorn? Eight of Cups? Hmm. Okay. This could be a lot of action or movement. Could be a... Is there something like you're rejecting here? It, do, it doesn't have to be that, but that intuitive vibe, whether it's a behavior or a thought process, kind of picking that up in the energy. We have the Strength card here on the back end, which I've been seeing for a lot of signs this week. So... Let's go through, I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into that juicy intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, elementally, we do have a nice little mixture. We got some earth, we got some water, we have some fire. This could be a lot of different situations. It could be different aspects of the same thing as well. I feel like this could wind up being a mixed bag type of reading. <clears throat> Pardon me. Because we have this beautiful energy of like wins and victories, and this energy of action and movement and change. Strength can often show up as well when you're resisting something, trying to refrain from something, or spirit testing you, kind of like the energy we saw last week. 
But let's go through each one piece by piece and really start to build this out. So position number one, we got the good old Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, it's one of my favorite cards in the whole entire deck. Now, all tens in tarot could represent the close of a cycle. This one is more of like a happy ending. When I see the Ten of Pentacles, like I said, this could be a signal of financial abundance, financial gain, leveling up in one way or another. This is a super stable energy. And it's victorious, right? When you get that Ten of Pentacles coming down the pipeline, this is really good win-based energy. So we'll really dig into it further when we get to the clarifier. Other things it could really represent, similar to the Ten of Cups, it could represent the home, it could represent the family. So maybe some of you, you're dealing with situations around the home. Maybe it's redecorating. Maybe you're thinking of moving house. It doesn't just have to be that. Maybe you're spending a lot of time at home when this card is in the mix as well. Or there's just something linking to the family unit when this card shows up. So we'll want to see what's up. But overall, to me, once again, this is a beautiful energy of win and victory. Okay, level up type of energy, and I really like it. However, moving to the center, we have the Eight of Cups right next to it. So it's like this energy is moving away from that Ten of Pentacles in one form or another. Now, this card does get a bit of a bad reputation in tarot. It can mean a few difficult things, depending on how you view it. Sometimes this could be walking away from something. Um, once again, whether it's a person, a behavior, a thought process a habit, you name it, like this is like moving away. I see this as a neutral card of action in general. I don't always think it's like somebody abandoning something or running away. To me, it could just be action or change. I was getting that little intuitive vibe that there might be something, whether once again, a behavior, thought process person, there could be the energy of a rejection in the mix. So we'll see when we get to the clarification. But whenever I see action in a spread, it's never a bad thing, okay? With this eight of, eight of cups, pardon me. There's moving parts. There's movement within the energy. So we'll see what's up. Moving to the back end, though, tells me there could be something, really, that is either testing you or trying your patience. We have the strength card. Now, this is a beautiful, universal, angelic type of energy. I love the strength card. Notice it has the infinity symbol over the head. This is really lovely. Now, for a portion of you, you might just be connected to Leo when this card's in the mix. It's not about physical strength. It's not about muscles and brawn and stuff like that. It's more about strength of character and determination. So when I see it next to a car like the Eight of Cups, it's like refraining from something, holding yourself back, whether it's biting your tongue or literally refraining from doing something. That could be a possibility here with strength. But once again, it's a card of improvement. It's a card of self-improvement, things getting better. So maybe some of you are on a journey of like trying to make, your, like make yourself better or remake yourself in one way or another. So we'll really want to see what this strength card is about because, as I already mentioned, oftentimes this card could show up when you are being put through the ringer, when you're being put through tests and problems and situations, stuff like that. So I don't really want to speculate too much, but overall, when I see this energy, like, yeah, we have a lot of really good possibility here. This Eight of Cups, it has my attention, though, that's for sure. I want to dive deeper on all the Capricorn. Let's jump in and clarify. <clears throat> All right, let's get a good shuffle here for you, my friends. Let's see what's up. Talk to me, my guides. What do we got for the cappies? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that Ten of Pentacles. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Capricorn, you can drop it right in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, Ten Pentacles time. Hopefully this is some good stuff we got coming in. I mean, it could be a transition. Remember I said the past couple of weeks there was like some roadblocks and energy. Yeah, there's something big coming in. So we have the Four of Swords in reverse. A time of quiet, not being so quiet anymore. Now, I will say this, there, there's just this odd focus around sleep. I know not every Capricorn in the world is having sleep issues and problems, but the fact that we had this card in the beginning, now we have the Four of Swords in reverse under the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could be having like a lot of difficulties resting. So really, please make sure, maybe spend a little more time at home. Like I know Capricorns are very hard, diligent, determined workers with anything they dedicate themselves to. Spirit could be asking you to pace yourself. However, aside from that message, the big thing I'm picking up, 
Four of Swords is usually a card that's at rest. It's not moving. In reverse, it's forward momentum and action. So for a lot of you, there is this level up energy coming in. A lot of you could have a really positive situation coming in, a win, a victory, of various different kinds that could really swing in your way. Okay, if you've been dealing with different things, this feels good. Like you might get a lucky break. So I do still feel like that massive energy of win and victory here. And I really do like it. But once again, I have to keep pounding that one message home. Like, please take care of yourself. Make sure you're resting and recuperating. That's a very big message that we have here on the front end. Because we've seen it twice already within the reading. So some of you might need to hear that for sure. Let's keep moving over to the Eight of Cups. I do feel like this is very much claimable energy too for a lot of you. So I feel something good coming down the pipeline. But remember, I was never doubting this Ten of Pentacles. It's when we get to this Eight of Cups and this Strength card is where I'm getting a little skeptical. So let's see why the Eight of Cups is here. Why is the Eight of Cups in the mix? Okay, thank you. It's pretty quick. Yeah, King of Cups in reverse. Oh no, we got our good friend, the King of Cups, aka Kyle of Cups himself without a beard in the reverse. For some of you, you there could possibly be something you're rejecting here. I, I've been feeling it since the beginning. I'm feeling it here now. Hopefully you're not feeling rejected in one way or another. I'm not totally getting that sense. Some of you might be having issues with a water sign, or this could even be romance or emotional connection in general. Some of you might be a little averse to that. Okay, whether it's new or whether it's old, it's like, yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm not connecting my emotions to this. Like, it's giving me the oddest little feeling here. Now, let's talk about the King of Cups. Usually, we love him when he shows up, right? It's our good friend. It could speak about emotional control. It could represent emotional balance, lots of love and emotion and nurturing, really good stuff. Even in reverse, it can represent love and emotion and nurturing, but it's, you know, the real wavy, rocky emotions here. Okay, so maybe there's a situation that like gets you off balance where it's, I don't like how this makes me feel. Like it's given me that rejection. So watch out. That is in the energy this week for sure. Whether you are rejecting romance in general or a way that something makes you feel. There's just something here where it's like, no, I'm putting a wall up. I don't, don't want to deal with it. Um, I'm going to work on this. Now for another portion of you, I do have to mention the King of Cups in reverse could represent somebody that might party it up a little too much. So some of you could even be rejecting a habit of some sort or somebody that has certain habits that don't really vibe with you. That's just the vibe I'm picking up here. Could be any, it could be all, it could be none. You know how it goes. For a portion of you, if none of that hit, this could just be spirit saying like, hey, just keep check on your emotions this week. Might get a little wavier than it normally is. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving over to that strength card. And then we'll do a quick recap before we get into the shadow. So it's like we do have some good. I just, I don't know what this wall is. Okay. Why is strength in the mix for Capricorn, please? Oh, quick. The moon. Okay. We are in Pisces season, my friends. And this is the Piscean card. A lot of water in this spread for you this week. And I always say, when it comes to the moon, this is the biggest card of mystery within the whole entire tarot deck. Even this Eight of Cups here, it has the moon depicted in it. Notice there's the little similarities there. So there is like this underlying mysterious energy in the mix as well. I don't necessarily feel like this is bad. This is a good subtle energy when I get the moon in the upright under strength. So we have a variety of different possible zodiac connections and signs in the mix. But the fact that we are in Pisces season as of this filming with the strength card here, Spirit could be telling you just like hold out a little bit longer or keep being strong, keep standing strong. A lot of you could really find a new layer of inner strength in this time, which is a really good thing. But aside from that, like we have a little unexpected energy here in the beginning with the four swords flipping over now here on the back end, there could be an unexpected test popping up. We kind of saw it in last week's reading where like, situations and tests, problems could pop up, but I don't feel like it's anything that's insurmountable. This is something that can be conquered and overcome. Something or someone could be testing your patience in the very near future when I have this strength card, okay? Whether it's a situation, like I said, that you're going through, maybe you don't know all the facts of it or see all the angles. I just feel like there's going to be some sort of test, whether it's a test of your willpower or a test of your patience, and it's showing up here big. 
I think you could get through it though, if that's the case. But let's go through and do a quick recap of this Capricorn. We have a lot of moving parts in your reading this week. Could be separate different things, but only take it how it hits, of course. Before we get into the shadow card position number one, we have the best alignment within the whole reading. We have the Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Swords in reverse. The big message there, please make sure you're resting and recuperating. Spirit could be asking you to take your sleep state serious. Maybe you need to spend a little more time at home for some of you. But another thing I'm picking up here in a powerful way is that level up energy coming in, like that big win and victory. And I really love how it feels here in the front. Moving to the center is where we get a little hmm with the energy. We have the Eight of Cups with the King of Cups himself in reverse. The main things, there could be either a feeling that you're not comfortable feeling and you don't want to feel it. There could be something you're rejecting, whether it's emotions itself or a certain connection. That's a big possibility. Another thing here, watch out. Like maybe there's a habit you're trying to shed or that you will start doing in this time. But there is a rejection of energy here. Moving to the back end, we have the strength card with the moon in the upright. Maybe in Pisces season for a lot of you, there's going to be an unexpected test of some sort. Whether it's a test of willpower, a test of strength, it's more like inner tests here. It doesn't necessarily feel bad. It is subtle in its own right, but I wouldn't be surprised if certain things do pop up for you in the coming days and weeks, all right? Nothing like to really raise a big alarm about. So please take a screenshot of that if you'd like, Capricorn. Let's get you a shadow card. Let's see what's in the shadows for the Cappies here, please. My guides and spirit team. And yes, I always like to pull one of these at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards do not always have to be a challenge. It could be a good thing. So let's get it going. One, one shadow card for Capricorn. And yes, if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love and appreciation for my channel members. Let's get it going, though. What do we got for Capricorn, please? Thank you. Okay, we have the Hanged Man. So there could be something you're withdrawing your energy from, and we did kind of see something similar here within the reading itself. The Hanged Man isn't the biggest card of action, though. So this is like a wait and see as opposed to this one taking action in, in the center. Now, when we're talking about zodiac signs, the hanged man could link to Scorpio. Some people also link it to Virgo. And it is a pulled back, withdrawn, analytical type of energy. So for some of you, you might be saying like, you know what, I'll wait and see. Or there could be something you're keeping an eye on. When I see the hanged man, I do think of like watching, strategizing, analyzing. So for some of you, you might need to hear, maybe you're under someone's microscope. Maybe you got someone under yours. But once again, this is a retracted, pulled back type of energy. So for some of you, with some of the messages we saw within this week's reading, it might be good to pull your energy back to home base for a little bit, okay? Especially if you're feeling tapped or anything that's making you uncomfortable. The hanged man is like, okay, hold off for a minute. Like, hold, like, hold your horses. So take that however you will, Capricorn. That's an intriguing energy to find in the shadows. That's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give the details the February subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, please feel free to go over to my website, mastermetaphysics.com to check out my digital calendar. But for the February subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of the beautiful Everyday Witches Tarot. It's one of my go-to decks and it is absolutely awesome. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things as always, my friends. First, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments out of all the tarot suits, which one vibes with your energy the best? Is it the wands, the pentacles, cups, or swords? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of February, I'll announce the winners in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love, and I'll see you soon.